that are called the Energy Talema Index, developed by World Energy Council, which evaluates a nation's economic and social progress based on how it interacts with the energy system with respect to cost, security, and sustainability. Scaling Nigeria's energy system using the Energy Trilemma Index under the three targets, we find energy security in Nigeria energy supply is not reliable and not secure, no secure access to energy. Many people still lack access to electricity, which has affected economic expansion. Affordability. The price of energy is a crucial element. High energy cost can be challenging for both individual households and businesses. Example, petrol sold for sold up to 500 uh, naira per liter. Diesel sells, uh, sells for about 800 naira per liter. Cuisine about 600 naira per liter. Cooking gas now sells for 10,000 uh, 10, naira per 12.5 kg. It's not affordable. Sustainability. Nigeria relies basically on fossil fuel, oil to meet its energy needs, which in turn makes the country more susceptible to oil volatility. And this in turn causes environmental consequences like air pollution and greenhouse house. Globally, the best performance in the index includes Sweden, Norway, UK, US, etc. In Africa, the top five performers are Angola, Kenya, Gabon, Côte d'Ivoire, and Egypt. Nigeria drops out from the list. So, methodology framework for analysis of Nigerian. Uh, yeah. Last scale oil theft. Last scale oil theft. Break into pack, breaking into pipelines in the delta mangrove swamps and load into smaller barges and ships. That's oil bunkering. These are the problems. High energy market concentration on monopolies grouping, political instability of the consumer, supplier, and transit countries, coercive manipulations of energy supplies, increasing possibility of terrorists and cyber attacks. Increasing probability of armed conflicts in the region, international political and economic crisis, security concerns affecting the nature and future of renewable energy, shifts in stability of EU affecting investment in strategic uh, large scale energy projects, such as the issues of Russia Ukraine. Now, let's look at energy system disruption. Formation of internal and external disruption to the system include restriction of technology available due to technology reliability and our favorites. Change of technology, energy projects, initial cost due to risk of investment for the candidate technology. The disruption of centralized command and control extraction resource based energy to end. Now, the business models they employ and the problem that they sustain, that sustain them, will be disrupted by super technologies such as solar, wind, electric vehicles, and other subdivision issues. The open source system, you know, now we have to model it, we are allowed, you know, modeling the energy, we have two models. The open source energy modeling system is called osmosis. It was introduced into literature by Howell in 2011. Osmosis, use, osmosis tool is used and applied for the modeling of energy system development with stochastic disruptions. And method uses such method as linear programming optimization open source code available in three languages. And solver use GPK open source. 
The objective function of the osmosis is to minimize the total discounted cost of energy system to meet the given demands for the energy system. The model is applied for modeling of energy system in multiple runs with various stochastic disruption scenarios using Monte Carlo method. And if you look at the something, see what we call reference energy. Every country or every state has this reference energy. And if one needs to measure disruption, occasion by threat, with this, you collect data into it, we can solve the issues of, uh, we can actually know the source of the, or the impact of the disruption on particular energy system. Now, these are the, <clears throat> the variables we use. We use uh, uh, disruption, the consequences of disruption, transition consequences, has to do with uh, variables such as unsupplied energy use, which is measured from 0% to 100%. Energy cost increase, measured from 0% to 100% or more. The energy security coefficient, which is the quantity, quantitative measures of energy security. Now, energy security coefficient aims to evaluate the consequence of disruption scenario in the energy system in terms of energy system disruption. Now, applying to Nigeria, application to Nigeria system. The sector, electricity, we have electricity sector, we don't have a distant heating or cooling. Fuel, the fuels available to Nigeria is natural gas, oil, waste, biomass, gas, and nuclear, etc. Technology, we have pipe for gas, hydro, wind, solar, electricity, and the fuel import, as well as T and D networks, there are sub energy. So if we use the period between 2015 to 2025, we can follow these steps. But this is a model which we still have to work on in order to produce resource and for that purpose. Now, we can also model energy resorption from an economist's point of view. So here I will say, with lack of a functional petro uh, petroleum refineries, Nigeria has to import gasoline or petrol, kerosene, lubricating oil from Netherlands of this amount, Belgium, Luxembourg, the UK, Norway, South, South Korea, Russia, and even Ukraine. And that, that we can measure from energy supply model and the energy demand model. In the energy supply model, we use linear programming. In the energy demand model, we use econometric model. And you ask me why? The energy supply is a technological issue with not much uh, what we may call white noise. But energy demand model has a lot of uncertainty. You cannot predict human behavior. So below is the supply and demand meeting each other, which is the market. So in the modeling of this uh, from economic point of view, we talk about the major impact of price and income. So in econometric analysis, we state the equation and we transform the equation in this form. So and the econometric analysis we seek to understand is what we call co-integration, auto-regressive distributed lag, error correction model, because this allows us to capture short and long run effects of the uh, separate variables. So look at uh, what the solution looks like. Look at the board. You will see the graph that is dancing down, down the up and down. And each of them has very serious meaning. You know, when the graph is at the trough, it doesn't mean that the supply is low and the price is high. And when it is high, either the price is high and unaffordable. So what you do actually, we do what we call exponential smoothing. We draw a line to harmonize the highs and the low 
so as to actually know exactly what's happening in the energy market. So, uh, furthermore, disruptive uh, modeling disruption. We also use what they call structural breaks, and what to have is economic principle for the breaks. So you see the dynamic example using income elasticity. You see the elasticity showing a demand curve stopping from left to right. And uh, what we mean from here is irreversible, irreversible efficiency improvements, rebound effect lags, changes by sector. So, in energy policy, yes, everything that has to do with energy policy talks about also supply and demand and tax. The whatever policy we will talk about, we meet in the market. We have them of the equilibrium between supply and the demand. Now, most real disruption can be explained by changes in the gross domestic product. And it is simple to note that GDP is an indicator of all the activities that happen in the country, including disruption. The important demonstration of dynamic changes is in elasticity. Way forward. To understand and address the risk and vulnerability assessment of Nigeria's energy sector, and to ensure that energy system can support the country's economic development and quality of life. The presentation's overall goal is to advance suggestion for a framework for assessing energy security. Going forward, the framework for Nigeria's energy security assessment will perform detailed examination on the data available on the Nigerian energy sector, including data on prices, infrastructure, and the generation and utilization of energy. Identify the main risks and obstacles that the Nigerian energy industry is currently facing based on the data evaluation of potential weaknesses and on the energy system. Also take account of the political, social, and economic uh, ramifications to assess the potential impact of these threats and disruption of the Nigerian economy. Again, to the combination of qualitative and quantitative methods to the abstract data on energy accessibility, affordability, and sustainability to firstly detect greater understanding on energy uh, security and energy system. Policy suggestion. Yes, policy suggestion for strengthening energy security evaluation framework for the Nigerian economy in the face of threats, risk and enable heavy investment in renewable energy sources. Nigeria is richly endowed in geothermal hydroelectric, solar, wind, and the tidal wave energy sources. With this added to the existing non-renewable hydrocarbon, the country can have a rich, secure energy mix. Improved energy security with increased energy efficiency will reduce energy demands by making buildings, appliances, and industry, industrial processes more efficient among others, which is in tandem with Nigerian renewable energy and energy efficiency policy. Also to encourage more investment in infrastructure sufficient for generation, transmission, and distribution of electricity to improve energy accessibility, viability, and availability. Nigeria needs to develop internalized, proactive, and clear energy approaches within the petroleum sector Given that oil and gas will continue to play a significant role in the global energy mix in the foreseeable future. Also, to strengthen the Rural Electrification Agency to enable her to deliver energy security to Nigerian rural areas and also address environmental effects due to energy production to ensure sustainable energy and sustainable sustainability of Nigeria's energy system such as air pollution and greenhouse gas emissions. Thus, letting the National Environmental Standards and Regulation Enforcement Agency and others work in tandem. Yes, I think I'm 
Yeah. Conclusion. The framework for evaluating energy security advanced security advanced in the study provides crucial tool for determining how well the Nigerian energy system operates in the presence of threats and disruption. By considering factors such as the country's energy needs, domestic production, energy infrastructure, energy efficiency, environmental effects, political and economic stability, access to energy, the framework gives a detailed technique for assessing energy security. The framework clearly shows that the various problems that Nigeria's energy security faces shows it. Some of this includes inadequate energy access and aged infrastructure, particularly in rural areas, as well as negative environmental repercussions from energy production and consumption. Oil and gas is vulnerable to supply disruptions and price volatility. Implementing the many suggested policies and initiatives would be essential to addressing these concerns and improving energy security. By addressing these issues, Nigeria can build a strong, more sovereign, robust, and more resilient energy system. Thank you for listening. Yeah, I think uh, I, I plead that you please uh, allow me to do little acknowledgement, which is also in the work. Appreciations topmost is God Almighty, to whose command lay there the life. We came into being. May we continue to worship thee in all our existence. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> my appreciation goes to my parents. Yes, Mr. Wong Celeste, and his wife, my mother. You guys were really nice people. My father, yes, Wong Celeste, had a very strong wish for our success. He called the bridge for the civil war, but lost still. A year after. My mother, why Emma? The epitome of love took us on. Her love opened up the gateway for us to complete primary school through her siblings so that I could learn a craft. Thereafter, I cannot appreciate her conviction that someday I will somewhere. Praise go, Mama. Thank you. You remain fresh and never agree in my mind. All your wishes and prayers and love are what have materialized in me and my other, uh, other and my other siblings today. I will always wish to have you as my parent personally if such opportunity comes. Let me appreciate my wife, Bernadette. Her parents called her Ehishiaya, meaning the one who has come to wipe away their tears after so many children. Child uh, mortality. Someone has called her Nanyemi God because she has grown with me from the strongest point of my struggle, a very strong and level anchorage of Atlanta. Was a good weather barometer. The silent fall behind me. You have shown richly and honestly. My prayer is may I have it be very bountiful Amen. in abundance. Our loving children, our friends, and impartial moderators. My passion goes to you, Chidema Elizabeth. Yeah, she's not here, she's somewhere in Scotland now. Mathematician, weather forecast, uh, well, studying business data analysis. Also, Namdi, studying history here, and studying international relations at Cambridge, and now a uh, cyber security analyst in Houston. I wish you well. My third child studied here law and uh, <clears throat> a master degree holder in energy law. I also have an economist 
We also have Ifan Iwogo, the assist of them, a psychologist, and now study healthcare leadership in Canada. And the last of all, our joy. Joy is the world and undergraduate medical students here. You all and again are presented to Almighty God every day so that you can help yourself and also help others who are who come along with you. I wish to appreciate my siblings. Let me start with one who taught me how to write my name correctly. His Reverend Dr. John Wong, my most senior brother. By his effort, I can put some few things on the record. My brother, the love brother, Chrisola, I think you're here. Are you here, Chrisola? Okay. Chrisola, you have very rich experience and can handle complex numbers. You are a wonderful girl to me. The other brother is not here, but his name is Emmanuel, brother Emmanuel. It's a reverend now. It's a reverend and it's also a wonderful person. Also, my <clears throat> beloved and only sister surviving. Ngozi, are you here? Oh, thank you very much. So, so for whatever reason, you remain a diamond to me, one whose value I cannot estimate. You have everything. Let me appreciate my teachers, primary school, most of them, their names I cannot remember, but their pictures are on my mind. I attended three primary schools. Holy Rosary, Alphan, All Saints, and St. Peter's. All the teachers, even with poor salary and recognition, you taught me very well. The Lord will be with you till we meet again. <clears throat> My secondary school teachers, also from St. Augustine, where I did two classes. I told the high school, I did class three. I send my gratitude to you, especially to my left principal, Principal J. Inwok. My undergraduate student, my undergraduate program, undergraduate program students, I met wonderful, uh, at my undergraduate program, I met wonderful lecturers. And I still meet with them up to today, such as Professor uh, from Umuchi, Joseph Odama, my Panache, and a good number of them. They actually impacted wonderful knowledge. My appreciation also goes to our, our the ABU Alumni International. Now let me start with the pro chancellor of this university, the pro chancellor and chairman of the Governing Council of this university. A great alumni, great alumnus, Professor Suleiman Alege Kuranga, our president, Akhil Ibrahim Sani, and our vice president, Southeast, Dr. Matthew Wokoy, among others, also uh, Dr. Asir Professor Neto, and uh, a lot of them, so plenty. In my graduate program at, of Masters and PhD, University of Rakot, I appreciate wonderful lecture like from say, Edith Apan, Ababan, Augustus Bostri, and a good number, so many of them. My caucus member here, you are Professor DSZ, Professor Martin Okeke, Dr. Bonaventure, Dr. Tutuwa, Dr. Tutuwa, Dr. Tutuwa, Chris Kola Kalo, Uzube Ekebosi, Princess Ike, who is throat now, Dr. Uche Anyamu, Keke Osai, in the Mekabama, and a lot of them. They are so wonderful. Let me appreciate the candidates as successfully supervised at PhD level. Some of them are full professors. Most of them are, most of them, and some are my colleagues now. Let me start with uh, Professor Ebele Stella Woku. Are you here? Yeah. Then, Associate Professor Uju Regina Esner, are you here? Yes, I said, Professor uh, Anibo of uh, Madonna University, Professor Mbemen Emilia Mukosola. Is she here? Please stand up. Dr. Uze China Benedict Ikemefuna, are you here? Professor Ijoma Maxwell from University of Dakota, are you here? Joe Maxwell was a PhD student, 
a mathematician, a statistician, is a professor of uh, economics, statistics, and mathematics. Yes, a good number of them have, uh, there are so many, I supervise so many. I have about 28 supervised PhDs. I have about three full professors and about four associate professors. And I pray that by the time when I'll be leaving, I have so many professors that I try to train with law. Not forgetting the reverend sister Jane Jane Hadis, but that's her, that we brought her in here. Can you stand up for exclusion? So, thank you very much. To all the old boys of Obis High School, I thank you. My Rotary family. Yeah, my Rotary family, or Rotary Club of Oka, this is 914. We are so many. Let me start with eminent professor Joseph Ikechebe. He is one of them. And our DDC admin is a humanist. He has contributed so much to for Harris. God will bless all of you, including our vice chancellor, Professor Simone, A.U. Noyalo, and others who will get out of it. And I know that my brother, Okubo, we are going to put you inside this room. So that's where you belong. Now, to my colleagues and seniors at Energy uh, Research, let me make bold that you made the environment for this inaugural lecture. The Nigeria Association for Energy Economics. Now, other schools like Center for Petroleum Energy Law and Emirate Energy Institute in the University of Morocco. So, I want to mention Professor. Uh, um, Yinka Omorowe, who is our president, and the professor, who is the director, professor Ajinka, and a good number of them. Yes, uh, the Faculty of Social Sciences, this office, Mrs. Ifoma G. Umense, my FAO, Charity One Neck, Efomo, Barista Dense, Good News in the She's a bad Christiana, Igwe, Odiono, Ijoma, Chika, Obi, Ugochuku, John, Okaf, Akano, a good number, and uh, Mrs. Gloria Ekutos Wobo, my computer secretary. I thank you so much. My public economics here, headed by Chris, I share with Chris uh, Carlo. I thank you so much, and all of you, so many, and uh, I will always encourage that let us do the job very well. Also, my department at Chukwuma College of Good University, headed by Dr. Bruno Ibekilo, Professor Mukosolo, Bwemena, and Maruka, Antonio Kamobi, Mr. Nonso, Biggie Ekesiobi, and a host. Of others. I appreciate you guys. No, so please, can you guys write for commission? Yes. yes. To all my past graduate students and supervisees, past students at undergraduate level, yes, I don't know why we still maintain this bond. One of them is Chibuzo Are you here? Chibuzo, please write up. Thank you, message to all of you all over the world. To my friends, Professor Keto Manoga. Yes, A. U. Noyalo, Gosno Kaf, Uchebez, Neku, Nipola Ventroso, Jaja Wanebu, Francoli Sokafo, Martin Okeke, Luese, Joshua Webe, Colin Sukwese, Emeko Koye. And call you Bianyan, which is where Reverend Father Professor Enzo Kana, Reverend Father BAC Olefuna. Are you here? Yes. Very wonderful people. Gerebu, Ofaro, excuse me, Chileyama, and a good number. Please, I'll continue counting the names when I leave here. His Royal Highnesses, 
Obo one of Obo who might talk of any Dina as a Dina Kenis Osago and a member of his cabinet here, Chief Okugo, Professor FJC Odubo. Are you here? So when you go, you tell my way that you know that uh, you're also here. So you also take the message to the Royal Highness of OBC as a barrister, as a who is our brother. My fellow distinguished senators of our great university, staff and students, and chairman and members of the Nagara Lecture Committee in Kumadu. That is uh, Professor Owakwe Mwana Owakwe. I appreciate you, sir. Let me conclude. No? The Chief Executive Officer of our great institution, Professor Charles Okejuku Esimone, FAS. He is Deputy Vice Chancellor Academies, my brother, MJC Odubu, and a very wonderful friend, Deputy Vice Chancellor Administration, Professor Joseph Ikechebe. Please accept my gratitude. I'm so grateful. Let me conclude my position by thanking my distinguished guests who found time to come from far and near to grace this occasion. May dear Lord guide you back as we conclude this event. Thank you sincerely. Thank you very much. Okay. It's a visit, sir. Huh? On behalf of the inaugural lecture committee of Nanda Zikwe University, Oka, I confirm that Professor Collins Uche Ogugu has successfully delivered the 77th inaugural lecture of this great university. I therefore kindly invite you, Mr. Visi, sir, in the presence of this audience and our virtual audience to so recognize him and decorate him and recognize him at the 77th Namda Zikiwe University inaugural lecturer. Well, thank you so much, the chairman. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Vice Chancellor, Professor Charles de Esimone, and the Senate of Fundamia Zikiwe University, Oka, I decorate you, Professor Collins Uche Mwezi, as the 77th inaugural lecture of Nanda Zikiwe University. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Okay. Yeah. May I also invite the chairman of the inaugural lecture committee, Professor Victor Bowakwe, to please give us a photo. Thank you, MC. 
I, I think uh, the inaugural lecturer has already given the vote of thanks in his uh, conclusion. Very honestly, it's a very pleasant day to all of us. Uh -huh, thank you. We want to give first and foremost the glories and the honor and the praises, adoration, and the worship to the Almighty who made today possible. We had many disruptions in, uh, in February. It is the intention of our committee to hold this lecture. According to Senate approval, twice every month, we had to make shifts because of uh, events in the country. And as we have to schedule three lectures for the month of uh, March. So on the 23rd, we are back again. And on the 30th, we are back again. So we're inviting you in advance. But we, we for logistic reasons, use the ASU Secretariat on Thursday, 23rd, for the 78th inaugural lecture to be held, I mean, to be delivered by Dennis Arribada. So, Uche, your story is quite uh, heartwarming. And uh, in fact, while we were listening to you, we were, we're having, uh, we we're just looking back. We, we didn't know you passed it through all this. We thank God for your life. And all, all of us, those of us who survived, I was just discussing with somebody this morning, said the only thing we did not eat in 1969 was raw gecko. That's when we ate lizard in 1968, 1969. Anybody my age and above would have eaten lizard. We did. We hunted for lizard, but you knew that the, 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 the tie of lizard was very good meat. Very good meat, lizard. Yeah. We hunted for rat, crab, everything. I didn't know which I passed through all this with our protuberant abdomen. And the, when the characters were still coming, you know, we would line up in the field with the Biafran soldiers and you just open your palm. They put a small palm. You, 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 you lick it. We are miracle children. Those of us who survived, who had no hope. We thank God for you. And then when this incident happened, I called Uche. Either we had to shift today or do a replacement. I was concerned about his health and his mental health, that even if he was physically okay, would we be in a state of mind to deliver the lecture? And he said, don't make any shift. Just go, go ahead. I'm fit enough. Thank you very much for being bold. And we thank God for giving you this, uh, this uh, wonderful uh, opportunity. So we are grateful. You attracted a crowd I never imagined. Yeah, because now as uh, people say, I mean, we, we, we're in a, in a period of lack, not energy, but everything lackable. I, I don't know how people are able to make it. You lack money. You lack a transfer. You lack, uh, you lack a POS. You lack everything. But what they sent in our platform this morning, I, I was laughing. Psychiatrists in Nigeria say, the only transfer, some of you may have got it. Most transfers are not working again. The only transfer that works now is transfer of aggression. <laughs> that one works perfectly. So if I greet, if you greet me and I, I, I don't respond, then go your way, or let me not transfer it uh, <laughs> to you. So I really, I want to thank the audience for the huge sacrifice that you have made. The Ministry of Education gave it to the university to use their discretion whether to extend the resumption or not. So I was very worried that we might not have anybody at all. Maybe people will be returning next week. Lo and behold, the people in the hall are much smaller than those we have outside, not to talk of our virtual audience. So I, I, th I thank all of you. It's really a very wonderful day. The management we must, we must always recognize. So nothing can go without their approval. The VC is ever ready. And Uche, you attracted two, but today is a really special day. You are, you are going out as a dean of faculty, and then you attracted all the attractables. We've, uh, for some time now, I'm not sure, we have had uh, the two deputy vice chancellors. At the same time, many reverend sisters, many reverend fathers, all in your lecture. So this is uh, <laughs> and vice chancellors. Uh, it's, it's a very great day. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that you will be happy with the way we are. So I thank, I thank all of you. 
for time we'll not be able to mention names the two vice chancellor please give our basket full of gratitude to the vc who we are representing and in your own capacities the two vice chancellors you have been so supportive including making this place functional at the background even for the light to be you are discussing energy but the vice chancellors are responsible somehow to make sure that there is uh, energy the, 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 the DVC admin will, will understand what you went through, through respecting generator for this uh, place. To let light uh, be energy. We thank you very much, sirs, on your capacity, and then to the vice chancellor. I saw Comrade Steve Ofaro. Oh, I thought he had stepped out. Thank, thank you very much. That, which I don't know how you attracted all these people, all the comrades and uh, your former students and everybody. And we have people from uh, outside, Vice Chancellor Veritas, Reverend Father Ichuk, who will give us the closing prayer. Thank you very much, sir. We look forward to retaliating when they give us, when they give inaugural lecture at, uh, at uh, Veritas. You are welcome, and thank you very much, sir. Our incoming dean, my very good friend and brother, Frank Collins. Frank Collins, so careful. <laughs> You have a very good show from your faculty, and we thank you for being, uh, for being around. Wishing you success in your tenure as Dean of Social Sciences. We saw what you wrote in your acceptance speech. Thank you very much, sir, for being uh, around. So we thank everybody. Uh, I think at the end, so that the people could go, there is an arrangement for people to make, um, to, to, to cut the cake, uh, to cut the cake. They will formally close so that people could uh, go. They will stay behind for small entertainment and cutting of the cake. Just a word from the Vice Chancellor. Yeah. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, just uh, uh, an announcement with respect to the examination scheduled to begin uh, next week. Please, the date of the examination has been uh, moved to another day. So inform your students, the students who are here, inform your, your colleagues. A new date will be communicated to you. <laughs> Sorry, um, please, uh, just for us to look, we have 650 virtual viewers. China can now. So uh, may we request the uh, Reverend uh, to please lead us Father in the place, close in prayer. Yeah, that's it. Then we now sing the anthem mm -hmm. and yes, so then we shall see. Let's be four calls of the Lord. No, no, no. Okay, boy, okay. Let us formally close. Let us formally close. Let's formally close. Shall we pray there? We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Gracious Father, we are saying thank you. Just thank you because of the wonders you've done in our lives. We listened to Uche and his story this morning. We thank you, Almighty God and Father, for guiding his life as you have guided every one of us to this point in time. It is your grace, Lord, not our power, not our making. And so we commit again our future into your hands. We commit him and his family into your hands. His future you guide. Our future, Lord, you take care. We ask you to bless those of us who have gathered to listen to the wisdom from his experience. Those who have listened from afar, those who have listened from near, those who have guided him up to this point in time, those who have supported him. We ask you, Almighty God and Father, that you may bless them. Bless those who have supported us. Bless those who are supporting the administration of this university. Bless them in their efforts. 
We ask you to do this and take the glory, praise, and worship, adoration, and kingship forever and ever. Peace be with you. Yes, anthem. Please, the university anthem, please. Oh, okay. Come on, let's more reception. Foundation, fountain of knowledge and of wisdom, source of sorrow and confidence. We are hidden through in this region. We rise and we honor you. Alone is it, alone is it, falling on this thing, so reliant and excellent, alone is it, 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 alone Please, after that, shall we please come back for the reception? You know, this is a double, a normal lecture and the Thanksgiving. So, after the reception, we'll come back here for the reception. That's the coming of the it's better so that people who want to go eat the affair and look up the Ibuabantilo and Abba. Look up the Abantilo.